Yo, see, si, senor, I heard you guys loud and clear. There are a few savages that don't want to come over to Twitch that would rather me stream on YouTube. Well, guess what, guys? It's NBA 2K21 season. It's a new season. It's a new year of grind. So I'm going to go ahead and bless you boys, you young men, with a streaming channel. Make sure you guys go over to YG the Beast Live! Exclamation mark. And uh, follow your boy over there. Subscribe. You will get some streams. Uh, it's mainly going to be 2K21 right now. Again, yet again, if you want to see GTA, go to my GTA channel. It's YG the second. That's where you're going to get GTA content. All right. But if you want to see your boy stream on YouTube and you're not a fan of Twitch, make sure you subscribe to the YG the Beast live channel. We will be starting up streams on Labor Day, I want to say. So. Don't quote me on that, but it's going to be something like that. Make sure you guys go check the channel out. Subscribe if you want to. Also, check me out on Twitch. Also, check me out on the YG The Second channel if you want to see GTA content. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> See, sin, your, it is your boy, YG, Chisel Man, if you nasty, and it is time for another 2K, NBA 2K21, that is, and y'all know what that means, it's time for my annual tattoo tutorial, bro, I'm about to show you boys how to get real drippy with your tattoos, because you already know, when we go out to the park, we want to look drippy, and we want to look clean, now, this year, I'm going to go with some different sleeves now if you are new to the channel you've never seen a tattoo tutorial let me explain what i'm doing right now is picking out two sleeves you can choose any sleeves that you want to choose because this is going to be your base now your base is basically going to be like the fill-in you know what i'm saying because what we're going to do is we're going to actually put some tattoos on the top and this is just going to be your filler because if you didn't know the sleeves in this game actually fade away so technically they're not really sleeve tattoos i don't know but what you want to do is you want to position the scale and your move the way i have them right there as you can see right there on your left side right uh, you want to make sure that the sleeve is covering the length of your arm you can put it on your hands if you want to you can do whatever you want to do now if you want to you can stop right here and just have sleeve tattoos but like i said they're going to fade when you leave out and it's gonna cost you 18 bands. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go back in to the tattoo shop. Once I get my base laid down, I'm gonna go back into the tattoo shop and I'm gonna buy some more tattoos. Now, these are going to be your fillers, okay? You know what I'm saying? These are gonna be the fillers. Now, you have your base, which is your sleeves. Now, you got your filler tattoos. Now, the filler tattoos are going to be the tattoos that are going to show the most these tattoos do not fade trust me the vibrant ones with the colors now last time i did this tutorial at nba 2k20 somebody wanted to see me actually place these filler tattoos so i'm going to show you me placing all of my filler tattoos this year i don't know if everybody wants to see that but i'm gonna do it for the people who want to see it so this is how i place my filler tattoos now last year i didn't do hand tattoos but this year i'm feeling different you know what i'm saying i'm feeling real different this year so we're gonna do some hand tattoos you see i got the rose and then i had the what was that the bear screaming with the scars and then i got the scars on the hand yeah so these are your filler tattoos like i said now these are gonna go on top of your base all right got it i, I hope you paying attention big dog because it's not really that hard bro but they are going to look so clean and so good when we are done. So now that we have placed those tattoos on our players, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Now you see the sleeve tattoos, how faded they are, and then your filler tattoos, how how pungent and 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 clear you can see those. That's why I said the sleeve tattoos are going to be your base because they're really for there is really there to add depth to the tattoos okay that's why you want to get the sleeve tattoos but you can see how faded those sleeve tattoos were and how clear you can see our top tattoos so now we're going to come back and we're actually just going to layer in some more tattoos now in our base we had 
cobwebs on there. So I went and purchased some actual cobweb tattoos. And we're actually going to layer those on top of the base layer cobweb tattoos. And it looks so good. It looks so 3D, dog. It, it, it's crazy. It looks very 3D light. And again, somebody commented last year that they wanted to see me actually place these uh filler in tattoos. So I'm just showing you every tattoo that I bought. Um in this session, I did go and buy like four tattoos. I bought two cobwebs, the little baby joker, and faith. Um and then I came back and I bought some more filler tattoos and you'll see what I did with those tattoos in a second. Trust me, the tutorial is, is worth it, bro. If you really want to make some realistic looking tattoos and not the cheeser tattoos, this is the place for you to be. If you want to make the cheeser tattoos, that ain't, I don't, <laughs> I'll do that bit, no, you know what I'm saying? But these are the realistic tattoos. Now, after I placed the baby joker, like I said, I came back in and I got the state of California tattoos. And as you can see, what I'm doing right here is I'm finding those empty spots and I'm literally just fitting those California pieces in like puzzles now you're about to see what i'm talking about right here as you can see i'm finding that blank space in my arm and i'm not applying them over the tattoos that i already have i'm really just expanding it and literally fitting it in like a puzzle piece as you see i did right there and that's going to make your tattoos have so much more body to them it's gonna make if you're a big burly dude it's gonna make you look real squall you feel me if you real buff it's gonna make the oh it's gonna make them veins pop you feel me man dog oh, it's gonna do all that but right here all you see me doing is filling back in some more empty spots with some more random tattoos bro honestly that's what it is man if you got tats then you know sometimes most of our tats are just like a, col a collage of, of a bunch of stuff that we wanted to put on our arm me i definitely have a bunch of tattoos so i i'm speaking for my myself it, yes er all my tattoos do mean something but it's really just a big collage of tattoos and this is what i came out with when i finally came out of the tattoo shop uh, i'm not gonna hold you bro if you don't have a vc for it i i I, I respect you if you just get the, the the couple sleeves, the couple arm sleeves, and you be done with it, bro. Ain't no shame in that, you know what I'm saying? But if you want the in-depth look like what my player has, like he really just went in and got every tattoo done separately, then this is the perfect tutorial for you to follow. As you can see, like I said again, you got your base layer, which is the faded layer, you know what I'm saying? And then you got your ones on top that are more dark but it just it puts a 3d pop to your player it makes it look more realistic but hey if you don't want your player to look more realistic hey do you big dog you know what i'm saying that ain't got nothing to do with me but this tutorial is for the people who want their tattoos to look good to look realistic to look like that you know what i'm saying because hey i'm a true believer in if you look good, you play good. You feel me? But, I mean, everybody. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this quick tutorial. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to push it to 10 minutes, bit, dog. We gonna go and get up out of here. Run it back if you need to. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, if you did get something out of it, man, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more videos just like this, bro. And I got you guys. But until my next one, man, peace. Like I want it. All eyes were on us and the media had started to change their minds and the way they thought about what could really happen when these young talents went to the non-traditional route and went to HBCUs. I started to see that I was making a slight difference in the atmosphere and I couldn't have been more proud of the team for fighting.